Battle of Hastings, the death of one man changed the course of history. The Anglo-Saxon King Harold was killed here, on England's south coast. His army defeated by William of Normandy. Anglo-Saxon rule was over forever. At Westminster Abbey on Christmas Day 1066, William was crowned the first Norman King of England. Now he had to secure power across the country. He began by stamping his mark on the landscape, building cathedrals and castles at strategic locations. Nothing like them had been seen in England before. They reminded the Anglo-Saxon population exactly who was in charge. But not all were content with living under Norman rule. Anglo-Saxon revolts broke out across the country. King William acted quickly to crush these rebellions. But there was one region where dissent was spiraling out of control. The north of England. In 1069, a group of lords from Northumbria formed an alliance with Viking invaders. Together, they approached Norman-held York, a large city with an important cathedral, still protected by ancient Roman walls. But the walls couldn't save York. The city and the castle fell to the rebels. William's new kingdom was under threat. He had to get the city back under Norman control. William had no choice but to order his men north. Give her help, Stella, but as the Norman forces set off on their long march towards York, how much resistance from the rebels would they encounter? William the Conqueror marched north with his army of Normans determined to take back the rebel-held city of York. But in his path stood rebel towns that harbored William's northern enemies. He would take the are. towns back by force. Capture Middlethrope. All right, let's form up, get formation going. And then organize our forces here. Okay, scout goes up. Be able to figure out what else is around us. We don't get ambushed. Also, we should be able to pick up. Hey, we can still gather sheep. If we come across any villagers, I'm sure they will help us. Okay. Oh, there's an enemy patrol. There they are. We have sighted the enemy. We have a few archers. Alright, here we go. No, stop chasing the archers. Stop chasing the villagers, I want to get the archers. Uh, pikemen... I think we want to... Oh, we just captured it. Okay, beautiful. So this is a now our home base. The Normans captured the town of Middlethorpe, establishing their presence in the north. With reinforcements to his army soon arriving, William would need more resources to supply them. Build up the economy. Yes, 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 yes. Colonel Esperant. Si. 
That means we're probably going to want to go for a mill here. Ooh, but then we also want to make sure that we find a wood line. We could use this as a wood line, I suppose. It's relatively protected, but we'll send the scout around to be able to see what else we pick up here. Okay, but in the meantime, wood line, wood line. Lumber camp goes up here. Well, our economy is going to be somewhat hamstrung because I have scouted around and we have no source of gold within the area, so we know technologies or aging up for us until we are able to expand. And they do raid us, here we go. And we have arrived. Not hard to fend them off, but we should bring a scout around to be able to push up and see where they're coming from. If they have a base that we can simply take out, or if they have kind of another fortified outpost that we need to hop to only after we've accomplished this build up your economy objective that they've given us. Oh, that's a lot of archers, okay. So they are holding the ford at the river with a bunch of archers. Is there any gold? The Norman army was now well supplied by a town, but it would take a sustained effort to keep the army at full strength. Reinforcements have arrived. Coming up the road. Ooh, that is quite the force. Okay. Another rebel town, Fulford, stood in defiance to William's rule. With the reinforcements, let's push up and take the river. Forward. Oh, it looks like we caught them right in the middle of the raid. They sent units across and we were able to intercept them and then they also had their archer band that was the initial defense. Alright, but cavalry can deal with this, no sweat. Oh, they're trying to get away. You know, show me where your uh, your outpost is. Retreat all the way home. Give me that scouting information. All right, keep the keep the units grouped up. We have the flag here showing our next objective. We're gonna run the cavalry around to be able to get a little bit of a visual while the infantry catch up. Beat the full fired rebels. Oh, the wall doesn't go all the way around. I thought it would. We're still gonna punch through this gate though, I think. Oh, there's a full force here. Going to be able to use William's boost. There we go. Yeah, we have recaptured this beautiful English town. Fulford is now ours. Rebels eliminated. William was one step closer to York. Ah, the key to Fulford is that now we have a gold mine under our possession. We'll build a... train a few more miners over here. And then we'll rush back to see how our main base is going. We've got plenty more villagers here. Time to get some more farms up and then probably some more wood gathering. I do like this. They have the little English town names here placed onto the town centers or just kind of the general area. It's kind of fun. Get the cavalry to scout around a little bit here. Oh, we also have an enormous deposit of stone right outside the city. Brilliant. That'll be great for getting our defenses up. If the rebels decide to push out.
The Norman army came under attack from a new enemy, the Danes. The Danes are attacking us? Oh, we have a market. I didn't realize what that was. I thought it was just like they have like fluff buildings. Okay, so these are the uh, Viking allies of the rebels. Great big Dane axes. Danish raider heavy melee infantry. Maybe a uh, future civilization that we'll be getting in the game. Maybe, maybe. Fingers crossed. William's army held back the Danes' attack, but they threatened to return unless William paid them in gold. Hmm, optional. Stop the Danish raids by buying out. Send gold to the Danes, 1,200 gold, or destroy the Danish camp. See which route we take. Use the tribute panel. I mean, we're close to being able to just buy them out, but it would be fun to attack them as well. All right, Danes, you've raided me for the last time. At least, not without being raided back. Archers, we're going to push out and see what we gain. Ah, here they are, yes. Surprised to see me so far away from camp? Here's a good one. They have more defense. I knew they would. The Danes aren't just going to be a pushover. It looks like this is another force that they're going to use to raid me. Hmm. Maybe we should uh, run them down before they hit our town. They just immediately turn around and start trying to run the other way. Yeah, how's that working for you guys? The Normans discovered the source of the Dane's threat. An outpost on the water. William had a choice. Bypass the encampment. Destroy it. Or pay the Danes the gold they demanded. Uh, paying them off would just be so easy at this point. I've got so much gold. Yeah, the archers aren't going to be able to do anything through walls. And not against towers firing on us as well. Alright, this time we can chase them back and we have battering rams. Let's see how well their walls do up against this. comes another raid. Man, they're just incessant with attacking us. No. Oh, why are they just running toward the city? I want to fight them. I guess we'll mine stone for now. Alright, now comes the assault. Battering rams up against the gates. Ah, oh, and they just crumble. They just crumble. We want to be able to get onto the towers if we can with the rams. I don't know if they'll be able to push through the mosh pit. I guess we can just destroy this wall portion instead. The archers should have enough mass to be able to carry this, even though the, the pikemen didn't make it through. And the Rams can just have a field day. Smashing these camps. Hit the tents! Hit the tents with the battering rams! Oh, 
In destroying the Dane outpost, William stripped the rebels of a crucial ally. William's ultimate goal was within his grasp. All that remained was to enter York and destroy its keep. Oh, look, they have the little, uh, the treasure chests that you could fill with tribute. Yeah, the Danes aren't going to see any of our gold. Oh, we can actually pick these up. This is what the rebels paid them. Oh, the rebels, they're dancing towards the gates. They don't know what to do. Are we going to shoot at them? What's going to happen? <laughs> they have show horses. Oh, they're waiting for the infantry to arrive. That's what they're doing. Now, while scouting around for more gold, I actually discovered a enemy lumber camp out here. I don't know, is this part of York? Is York so much of a city sprawl that it's all the way out here? Is this little bonus objective? We're gonna see. Ah, they do have gold though. Now our search for gold has finally been rewarded. I just can't resist following all these little pretty roads that they have down on the map to where they lead to. More enemy economy. Well, we can wipe this place out. There they come again. All right, well, bat back this raid. And then after that, we're going to push forward to be able to get eyes on York and plan our assault. Yeah, I think the pikemen should be able to wipe out the tower. Archers can focus on the longbowmen. It's interesting that actually, even though we have all of the English trappings of the civilization, we don't actually have longbowmen right now. We just have uh, archers, and the wonder that we built to go up to the second age usually trains only longbowmen, uh, but it actually gives you archers at double training speed. Is there a back way into the city from around the river? You will find out. Mm, it doesn't look like it lets us go any farther here. Hold the bridge! Our guys are still kind of pushing around, but I just don't think this is the way we're supposed to go. Let's go back. Oh man, they're hitting us again. Oh, there's a city gate. No towers! No towers means that it's a pretty easy deal to be able to crack this open. The Norman army poured into York and began sacking the town as they bore down on the keep. Destroy the enemy keep. Well, to be able to do that, we probably want to be able to bolster our infantry forces and get the battering rams in play. York Castle, here in the hill. Seems fairly well defended. Get the rams up to the walls. Take them all the extra defenders. I think our massive archers is still going to Definitely get through this, but I'm gonna pull the rams back a little bit. Give space for the combat to resolve here. And bring in any reinforcements we can muster. And they are beating us back. Okay, we need to fall back. Fall back to the bridge. Wait for the reinforcements. Okay, so how do they get cavalry over here and why are they doing nothing? <laughs> 
Oh, what? They come straight from this path. I've had my units all the way up at their keep. All right, time to push them again. Let's see how they're able to respond to this force. They have just such an enormous archer mass. Uh, they just don't have enough front line to be able to stand, and the enemy has a huge archer mass themselves. That's what's, yeah, that's what's swinging things against us. And they keep adding in damage on top. Okay, before things go terribly wrong, we're gonna back up. This time I think we've worn the enemy down to the point that the horsemen will be able to actually catch up and wipe out the archers here. Let's bring in the battering rams now. Oh, they have more coming in from outside the walls. And yet more. Well, we have some reinforcements as well. Oh no, the pikemen are encircling us. But we have our battering rams up against the keep. If we can bring the keep down here, I think this could just end it. Yes! Dropping the keep and the rest are forced to retreat. Our reinforcements were shortly behind there. The keep fell to the Norman army, and York was secured. The Northern Rebellion was over, and William the Conqueror was uncontested as King of England. The kingship is secure. Our unlocked video this time is the crossbow. One weapon more than any other dominated warfare in the Norman period. The crossbow. Fourteenth century crossbows like this were the culmination of centuries of development. With limbs made of steel, they were incredibly powerful. But earlier Norman crossbows had limbs made of wood. There was a limit to how powerful these wooden bows could be. So the idea that Norman crossbows were a powerful weapon is really a myth. Despite this, they were effective at medium range and that was enough in battle. Drawing the bow repeatedly took a lot of strength. Thankfully, help was at hand. A crossbowman spanned his weapon with a device called a belt and claw. This gave him extra leverage, allowing him to use his back and legs to draw the string. Crossbowmen were vulnerable on a battlefield, so they carried large shields called pavises, so they could hunker down behind, load, pop up, shoot, and then duck back down again to reload. Crossbows were accurate, took less training, and used cheaper ammunition than the longbow. Most importantly, you could wait to take your shot, so they were perfect for siege situations. To protect crossbowmen when they were defending castles, they used specially built wooden galleries called hoardings. But shooting down towards an approaching enemy presented its own problems. How to stop the bolt from falling off the crossbow before it could be shot? What they did is just place the thumb loosely on the top of the bolt, which is just enough with light pressure to hold it in place. Around 1200, the Norman wooden crossbow 
was superseded by a new design, the composite bow. With limbs made from horn and sinew, they could be made more compact than a wooden bow. And they could deliver up to four times the punch. They were, however, more expensive. So whether on the battlefield or the castle rampart, simple wooden crossbows remained the main weapon of the day.